Hi, and thanks for watching Dr. Linda Kramer. That's me. Today I want to talk about how to be your best. The worst thing in society is that we make it a game, like a competition. Even at school, we are competing against other kids to get the best grades. In sport, we have so many team sports where you're competing against other teams to succeed. But when we really consider our life and who we are, we don't need that competition to exist. We've got to realize that every single person is individual. We're all unique. We've all had different past experiences, even the good times through to those bad times. So when we say how to be your best, I'm not saying go out and compete to be the best of every human on the planet. Be the best version of you. So how do we accomplish that? First off, remember, there's no competition. The only person that you've got to compete with in yourself is you. The only person who you have to live up to any sort of obligation, goal or dream, etc. is you. If you put your heart into something and it doesn't work out, don't classify it as a failure. Think of it as just you doing the best that you could at that time. Next one I want to say is don't judge. Don't judge what that other person is doing. Oh my God, they've got better that. Or, oh my God, look at that. They've got better that. They've got a better car, better house, better girlfriend, better boyfriend, better job. Don't compete because you don't know what they're like in their 24-hour existence per day. They could go home after work and have the worst case scenario happen every day. They could be struggling with so many inner demons themselves that they just portray their life to be so good. So don't judge what other people have because ultimately that creates jealousies and insecurities which leads to embarrassment and shame. So stand up and be proud of everything about you that makes you that one in seven billion. When you say to yourself, you know what, I am one in seven billion. There's no one else on the planet like me. Feeling special yet? Because I want you to feel special. Because you are special. When all the same at the end of the day, we born, we die, we breathe, we eat, we poo, we wee, and we sleep. Take those out of the equation. And it's generally what we have as a job that dictates who we generally are. So don't use your job as a reasoning factor into determining whether you're good, better or less than somebody else. Because at the end of the day, we all do the same things. Okay? We're all the same at the end of the day. You know, that guy with the millions and millions and millions of dollars, he may be the worst person to know. Is that who you want to be? Come on, because this is what my channel's all about, right? How to be the best version of ourselves. Next thing I want you to ask yourself is, have you ever made a list of all your dreams, goals, aspirations and ambitions? Have you ever thought about where you do want to be in five or ten years? Make that list. Visualize it. So get out of board and say, you know what? I want to go to Fiji. I want to learn how to do that. I'd like to learn that hobby. So you're manifesting it through that board, which they call an affirmation board, by the way. And even some people print out photos. Like if you want to go to Fiji... Print out an itinerary of how to get there. Print out how it looks to be there. What does the island look like? What sort of trees do they have? What sort of food do they eat? So you're already creating that in our mind. Because what we think, we create. Okay? So make that list. 
and then start to set boundaries. It's okay to take time out to just be you. We don't have to feel obliged to help everybody else. If you're not feeling the best, if you just think, oh my God, I've got all this stuff to do today, I need to sleep. It's okay to ring that person and say, you know what? I've got to look after me today. Okay? There's no other person to oblige to than yourself. Always look after number one. So who's the most important person in the room? Always me. Point to yourself and say, me, M-E. I'm the most important person. I'm the only one who I need to look after. I'm the only one who's important to me. I'm the only one who can have these aspirations and dreams and goals. I'm the only one that I need to compare or judge or compete against. If your life isn't going that great, think of ways to improve it tomorrow. Whether it's to go out and study so then you can go into a new field of work. Whether it's to ask for a promotion or to apply for a promotion. If you want to be more caring, get out and do voluntary work. Okay? And the last thing I want to talk about today is live your life the way you want to. Don't feel compelled that you've got to go with the flow of what everybody else is doing. Don't feel ever that you have to feel obliged or committed to do something because that's just what everybody else does. I was watching this video about how millionaires get to be a millionaire and guess what they all agreed on? They all said, the only reason why I became successful is because I did my life the way I wanted to and I didn't work for somebody else telling me what they wanted me to do. I'm not saying give up your job. I'm not saying go out and start a new business. But just remember their philosophy, their attitude and their perspective. Because at the end of the day, guys, if you're not truly happy within you, you will only attract in unhappiness and grief. It's that mirror effect of how we feel we attract in all that other same energy. So if you become happy, content, satisfied, and you love who you are, you will bring in all that greatness as well. So I hope this little pep talk today has helped you all. We all need it every now and again. I might even watch this again later. Because how to be your best doesn't mean that we all have fallacies. We all have idiosyncrasies. We all have different characteristics. But as long as you're doing the best job of being who you are, that's all that truly matters. So wherever you are, hope you're all having a great morning, good evening or good night. Talk soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.